go, friends. I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, oh, today is going to be my biggest curl transformation curly hairstyle probably of the year. Today's video is also sponsored by Lily Silk, hence the silk pajamas. I mean, look at them. The emerald green, it's just like, put my hair down. It won't get frizzy. It's great to get ready in. That way your hair doesn't get any friction as it dries. And it's just so cute. Little pants set. Not only does Lily Silk have silk pajamas, they also have silk pillowcases, which as you should know, if you are a curly girl, you need a silk pillowcase to sleep on every night because you will quickly realize that if you sleep on a cotton pillowcase, your hair will wake up frizzy, making it harder to refresh your next day hair. But when you sleep on silk, it just slides and doesn't cause any friction. So this is a curly hair must have. I'm gonna have on my pajamas, I'm gonna have on my silk pillowcase, and I even got silk sheets. So no matter where my head slides, I will say frizz free. Another curly hair must have are silk scrunchies. Silk scrunchies are the best way to put your hair up in a pineapple at night. That way when you take your hair down in the morning, it'll just slide right out, making it really easy to refresh your curls. Not only do these Lily Silk products look luxurious and super soft, there's actually a lot of benefits for your hair and skin. Did you know that silk contains natural cellular albumin, which actually speeds up metabolism of your skin cells, helping reduce the signs of aging? Silk is also a natural heat regulator. So for someone that sweats in the middle of the night a lot, this silk will keep you at a comfortable temperature while you sleep. The smooth surface of silk means that there's little friction between your skin and your hair, which is said to be the biggest cause for sleep wrinkles. Lily Silk products are super durable. They're made with the best quality Millberry Silk, which can easily last up to 15 to 20 years if cared for properly. Silk is very breathable. It's the most hygienic material, hypoallergenic, and you even can choose between like the envelope fold or a zipper. I personally prefer the zipper, that way my pillow does not slide out. And they have a variety of different colors. I have so many Lily Silk products from my sheets to my pillowcases. I even have my name on one, which I think is a really cute, customizable gift for a curly person. If you get them a silk pillowcase and put their name or their logo on it, do keep in mind that not all silk is created equal. Lily Silk is a very quality brand made with Millberry Silk. They have zero waste and they're very environmentally conscious. If you do not have any Lily Silk products in your life, you should get some. They have everything from really cute large silk scrunchies to silk bonnets to silk pillowcases, sheets, blouses. Anything you could really make out of silk, they probably have it. So if you're interested in matching my PJs, sleeping on a silk pillowcase, sheets, or whatever, make sure you order from lilysilk.com and use my promo code for a little discount. I'm really uh, stepping out there, trying new things, because we are going to attempt curl formers. Curl formers are going to make these big, voluptuous curls, kind of like curling wand curls, without the heat. Now, because we are going to do this heat-free, it's going to take a long time, because my hair takes a long time to dry, hence, why I'm wearing pajamas, because we are literally going to sleep in this style overnight and let it set a long time. I'm not exactly going to call it a tutorial just yet because this could end up being a hot mess. I got the classic styling kit with 30 curl formers for long hair. First things first, we're going to connect these two. Let me get one of my little Lily Silk scrunchies. Put this away. No, actually, because I am gonna be applying product, I don't wanna mess up my beautiful silk pajamas. <laughs> These aren't no rinky-dink satin ones, okay? This is high-quality Millberry silk. So let me just put on a little t-shirt real quick. I did notice that a lot of girls were starting off on clean hair, but it was kind of already dry, so maybe next time I'll just wash the night before, put it in braids so it's a little bit stretched but still clean. But today we're gonna start off with my hair freshly washed out the shower. I think I'm gonna start with the back and you're supposed to do really small sections. And I'm gonna add a leave-in conditioner first and then apply a mousse. Because I want my curls to be nice and shiny, I'm gonna grab the Curlsmith Fragrance Free Shine Cream, like so. 
And because I don't really want to experiment too much, I just really want this to work. I saw a lot of people using mousse and many use the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Something lightweight without too much hold. Really want to get those in so they're not frizzy. Place the curly do on here like so. I'm going to attach this part to the top of my hair. I'm gonna kind of twist it, hook it on. Then I think I just pull. Uh, what? This might be too much hair. They said if it's hard to pull through, you might have too much hair. So I'm gonna take out that much and see if that helps. Twist, hook it, hold it, bop it. Just kidding. There we go. That is not a good sign. Is my hair too long? My ends are gonna look crazy. <sighs> All right, change of plans. These curl formers are just too small. And I don't know what happened because it says long. So I'm gonna have to do some research and see if they make them even longer than this and then try again in another video. But I also bought some bootleg wavy do's from Amazon. So that's what we're gonna do today instead because these look long. Seems like the same concept, but instead of making big curls, we're gonna make a little crimped wavy do's is what I'm gonna call them. Let's give it another go. <laughs> Has the same little attachments. I'm gonna actually apply all the leave-in conditioner to one side so that I can start moisturizing and then I'll just apply my mousse as I go. We are conditioned. Starting again, all of these look like they're the same, so I don't think it matters what side is which. And I think I have 14 of each color. So let's begin again, starting from the top in a small section, adding a little bit more mousse. Taking my wand, putting it in the wavy do, so let's do two so we're ready. Then grabbing the loop, pulling it there, pulling it to the top, squeezing this up. One. Okay, my hair fits. Woo! Twisting, looping it at the top, holding. I don't know how this is going to work. This is very finicky on how much hair you put in. That's for sure. You really can only use little pieces. I just don't know what to do about the lengths of my hair because it's sticking out the bottom. Today is just an experiment, I suppose. But you do kind of get the hang of this. Last one on this side. Darn it, I meant to time this. Now we'll never know. All right, there is that side. And those little fuzzies are gonna be a problem. Maybe I should just pull them down and hope the top of my head stretches. Now we're gonna do pink and finish her off. The last one, it's the final countdown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end. I really feel like this would turn out so bomb if my hair actually fit in all of them because now I don't know how the top of my head's gonna look. Let's add some mousse and hopefully it'll just like kind of weigh it down. Okay, so in conclusion, my final thoughts on just the application process. I need to figure out what to do if your hair is longer so it doesn't look all weird and frizzy on the bottom. It is pretty easy to latch on if you get a small piece of hair. If you're having trouble pulling it through, the piece is too big, make it smaller. Even with me making the size pieces that I did, I actually ended up having three, four left over. And my hair is very fine. So if you have thick hair, you might need two bags of these. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look. At this point, you can 
put it under a hooded dryer, which sounds like a really hard thing to do actually. One of those like big ones that you attach your blow dryer to and just sit there. I don't know how to get all these in the hooded dryer. Maybe I'll try it next time. But today I wanna to try it being completely heatless and just sleeping on this overnight. So let me go ahead and put my Lily Silk pajamas back on. Alrighty, taking off that shirt was a nightmare. Button down clothes so you can just take it on and off and not to pull anything over your head is definitely the way to go. I feel like a really cool jellyfish, like a rock star, punk rock. I should have pink and purple hair. I'm doing color next. So that took me about an hour to do, including all my mistakes in the beginning. So if I wasn't filming and I really got it down, maybe 30-ish minutes to do, which isn't that bad but it is gonna take a long time for my hair to dry. So I'm gonna let you know how it is to actually sleep on these, which doesn't seem like a very fun thing. Just got an idea for this long piece of hair because I'm over here waiting for this to dry, but like, look at this. That's just, that's too much hair sticking out. So let's try this one again. And I put this little extra piece in the middle to make a super long one and maybe just maybe I can add two to one. And now I have a super duper long one, maybe sort of kinda. Like that. I'm gonna hold these two together. Yo, I think I'm a genius. What is that? Your girl went to college. What can I say? So I'm just gonna just get the really bad ones and do this little double up and see if this helps. But I'm gonna let this sit and then head to bed relax in my lily silk sheets and lay these little wavy doos on my silk pillowcase. See you in the morning. Good morning, I am back and I cannot wait to take these out. That was a very um, annoying sleep. It's kind of like sleeping on a bag of Legos. I did, you know, just go like this and then sleep on my pillow and then it was fine. But I toss and turn in my sleep so when I had to like re-toss and turn it was an issue, but if you can sleep like a mummy or just sleep like this, you'll be fine. Let's take them out. My two little long extensions that I tried to finesse did fall out, so I'm not sure how I'm how I feel about this. Not not the cutest. <laughs> let's just do it. So we're gonna let's just do one at the top, and we just pull. Oh, well that's kind of pretty. Oh snap, is this gonna work? Is this actually gonna work? Hmm. Okay. It's really easy to come off. the top, maybe zhuzh it up a little bit. What do we think? It is very shiny. And it's just like this little like crimped look. This is my Curlsmith oil, cause you guys know it's my favorite. Smooth down any frizzies up top. Smooth down frizz. Oh, it smells so good. It is a different look. It's pretty. I do, I just wish that they were longer cause then like my ends, would be a little cuter. Gives me like that tesseled wavy look. Definitely gives me elongation. Okay, I'm actually gonna use my Raw Intuition Define Me Moisturizing Foam. This is the foam I use when I have braids and I wanna slick down my flyaways. This is also the mousse I probably just wanna use next time instead of the Shea Moisture one, just cause I know how good it is. Sorry, it's a new bottle. So I'm just gonna a little bit of foam and just use it to slick down these there we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use mousse to fix any little pieces. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to my ends. That's the only thing, it's just like my ends aren't that cute because they weren't long enough. And to end it off, I'm gonna grab my Innersense I Create Finish, which is a hairspray, just to hold them. In conclusion, I don't know, 
It is cute. It's definitely like a loose wavy look. When you're someone that just loves her curls as much as I do, it's hard, it's hard to beat them. It's hard to beat the natural curls. But this is a nice little different look. Switch it up. These were fun to use. I would definitely just use these like starting this at 8 a.m. and then either using a hooded dryer with a blow dryer just so it dries faster or just letting it air dry all day long. I personally didn't really enjoy sleeping on them. I would just start early in the day and get longer ones. Let's get some more volume. There we go. Okay, okay, I like it now. Now it's giving me like her vibes. I feel like the art is her and now I'm obsessed. <laughs> so yeah, I just kinda had to get it off the scalp. Raise the roots. I know I like volume, what was I thinking? I like it much better now. If you enjoyed this video and you like me kinda showing you how I do things for the first time, please let me know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Or would you rather be like, um, Bianca, I need you to go figure it out, and then once you've mastered it, then come make the video. Let me know which you prefer. I post new videos every week, and we are trying new hairstyles all year long for my hairstyle challenge. So I challenge you to try this hairstyle, try my previous ones, and then tag me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. You also can follow me on TikTok and Twitter. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.